Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to use O and O Shut Up 10 in order to remove spyware and telemetry from Windows 10, which includes a new community update. Let's move over to my system and we'll check that out. Okay, as you can see, I've got the O and O Shut Up website in front of me, so I've opened my browser and Opera and I've went to www.oo-software.com slash en slash shut up 10 and you can simply click download. Once it's been downloaded, it'll go into your downloads folder. As this is a portable application, it does not need installation. It just requires you to say yes at user account control in order for it to continue. As you can see, it's now opened in screen in front of me, and it gives me a lot of information that is or is not disabled. When you click on things, it gives you a little information about it. Interestingly, not all of my telemetry has been turned off. So if I wanted to turn off telemetry, three, since one and two are already turned off. I would just click that. Note, before the first change, you should create a system restore point. It will secure your system and enable you to return to the state you were in originally if a setting is not rendering results as desired. This step is strongly recommended, so we'll go yes. This may take a moment. Okay, the system restore point has been complete. Now we can continue disabling what we don't require. Internet access for Windows Digital Rights Management, DRM disabled. Let's see what more information it offers. Certain music and videos have so-called DRM. And ensure the files can be played on your computer or restrict the amount of copies made. If you don't own DRM protected files, then deactivate this function. Otherwise, it is possible that you won't be able to use them on use these files anymore. Well, I don't support DRM. I believe DRM only punishes people who have legally purchased stuff, not the pirates. So I'm going to turn that on. App access to wireless connections disabled. I'm not so sure about that one. Certain apps probably do access, do require access to my Wi-Fi. App access to loosely coupled devices. Nah, I'm okay with my printer picking up my Wi-Fi adapter. Or rather, picking up my network through Wi-Fi. Windows Defender and Microsoft SpyNet. Microsoft SpyNet membership disabled. I actually use Windows Defender. What's the exclamation mark? Okay, well I use Windows Defender, but obviously if you don't use Windows Defender, you can go through disabling some of these. Privacy section, share handwriting disabled, share of handwriting error reports, we can disable that because I don't use handwriting. Inventory collection disabled, inventory of what? Of all computers in the network, that's getting disabled. As you can see, this is a lot deeper than the previous programs I've, I've actually uh, reviewed for this, or rather done small tutorials for advertising info reset don't want any advertising don't care transmission of typing information <laughs> that can go disable conductive experiments with conducting experiments with this machine by microsoft what is that uh, no i don't want to be used as a guinea pig for microsoft stuff advertisement via bluetooth can be disabled biometric feature at the moment, I'm not using fingerprint scanner, so I can disable that. I don't really mind app notification. I do use it for some things, if I'm rendering something in the background, for example. Access to local language for browsers disabled. I don't really know enough about that to disable it. Sending URLs from apps to the Windows Store disabled. Microsoft analyzes the website visit and sends to the Windows Store. This feature can potentially give you more security, but at the same time it sends data and your behaviour and apps to Microsoft. Well, I don't think I've ever bought a Windows Store app. I don't recall downloading Windows Store apps, so I'm going to nail that one. This definitely is a lot more than the previous ones, uh, previous software that I've went through for this. App access to your user account information is able. Uh, no, I don't want that. Windows tracking of App Store. No, nope, don't want that. App access to diagnostics information disabled, don't want that. App access to camera disabled, if you're doing video conferencing like I occasionally do, that's probably required. App access to microphone, again, 
video conferencing, app access to notifications, yeah, I can disable that, I believe. So disabling this function means apps no longer have access to your message, such as SMS, SMS. The results of Macs may be limited to functionality or not work at all. Okay, yeah, I'm okay with that. App access to contacts, again, I vastly suspect with things like Skype and video conferencing that's required. But again, you can experiment with this. It's entirely up to you, just don't blame IT snippets if you break anything. App access to calendar, well, I don't use the calendar. App access to call history, don't use call history. App access to email, don't really use email. App access to tasks, yeah, not interested in that. App access to messaging, not interested in that. Prohibit apps from running in the background. Okay, well, this isn't a mobile device, so I'm okay with that one running. Microsoft Edge browser. Well, I can disable everything in here because I don't use Edge. Synchronize Windows settings. Disable synchronization of all settings. I'm not sure how that would affect me considering I'm running this on a domain. Again, you can disable the synchronization of all settings, design settings, browser settings, credentials, meaning your passwords, language settings, accessibility settings, and advanced Windows settings if you require. It's entirely up to you. Cortana, I can disable all of this as I do not intend to use Cortana. If you do use Cortana, obviously, just disable the things you believe that you're not linking to. I don't want any of my apps to access my geographic location. No, I'm okay with all that, so I can disable all of them. Remove user telemetry. I don't like telemetry, period. Yeah, I can knock that in the head. I don't care what micro... Well, I do care that Microsoft sees how I customise my windows. Windows update via peer-to-peer -peer disabled. Yep, these can all go. Activate deferring of upgrades. I do that. To be fair, I actually usually disable Windows Update. I quite like having my drivers updated through Windows Update. I don't mind that. I didn't even know that apps updated through Windows Update. It must only be specific apps, like presumably Office. Ah, Windows Store apps. I'll explain it. I don't use Windows Store apps, so I could disable that. With the recent NSA stuff, I'm going to leave Windows Update enabled for the moment. I normally disable it. You may have seen that in one of our previous tutorials that I normally disable my Windows Update. I'm going to leave it for now, just with this NSA thing hanging over her head. I'm not going to disable it for Office either. Windows Spotlight, da daily changing pictures in your lock scene. These are taken on Microsoft's thing. You can read these pictures without some information sent to Microsoft and clearly identify a person. I, I don't mind the pictures and I don't really rate them, so I don't really care about that myself, to be honest. Disable fun facts, tips, tricks not on your lock screen. Okay, advertisements, bad. And miscellaneous. Feedback reminders. Microsoft often asks for feedback transfer diagnostics of viewers data. Diagnostics of user data even. Yeah, I'll disable them. Extension of Windows 10 search with Wing disabled. Yeah, I can disable that. Obviously when you're going through this and you're enabling or disabling items, you should click on them uh, and read the information that it actually provides in order to make your own decisions whether you believe that you require it to be disabled or not. Disable automatic installation of recommended Windows Store apps. Oh definitely, that's that forced, forced install garbage. I done a video about that a couple of videos ago. Yeah, I don't need the tips and tricks now, I've been using Windows long enough. Disable showing up app suggestions, if I want an app I'll go and find it. I think I'm okay with that for now. But there you go, there was just a quick walkthrough from literally just running it for the first time and actually seeing what can and cannot be disabled and making some decisions on stuff which up until this point, right before I ran this, right before I installed the community update, I had already removed as much telemetry as I was aware of that was on my system. So you can import your sentence and export your sentence if you go to the file menu. So you can apply all recommended, apply all recommended, limited recommended, apply all settings, which they really don't recommend, undo all changes, go back to factory settings and create a system restore point in the actions menu. So that's always handy. If you're weary of something you want to change, then by all means create the system restore point as I did before we started. And then you can easily roll back to this problem and help menu just give you a short guide and an about. You can read them at your leisure. There we go, I've managed to show up 
a bit more of my security in Windows 10, make it a little more effective privacy wise. What we should do is go ahead and click close here. And it says, do you wish to close on all sharp 10? Please note, settings may possibly revert to their previous state following the Windows update. That has happened on several occasions before the community update does it. After updates, run ONO 10 and you, and you'll see the changes and you can then reset automatically. So, do I wish to close it? Yes, I do. It's suggesting that I restart my system, which I will do now. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. But most of all, thank you for watching.